manifest state action and those that do not. But make no mistake, if any object presents a threat to the safety and security of the American people, I will take it down. I'll be sharing with Congress these classified policy parameters when they are completed, and uh, they'll remain classified so we don't give our roadmap to our enemies to try to evade our defenses. Going forward, these parameters will guide what actions we'll take while responding to unmanned and unidentified aerial objects. We're going to keep adapting them as the challenges evolve, if it evolves. In addition, we've I've directed my national security advisor to lead a government-wide effort to make sure we are positioned to deal safely and effectively with the objects in our airspace. First, <clears throat> we will establish a better inventory of unmanned airborne objects in space above the United States airspace and make sure that inventory is accessible and up to date. Second, we'll implement further measures to improve our capacity to detect unmanned object uh, objects in our airspace. Third, we'll update the rules and regulations for launching and maintaining unmanned objects in the skies above the United States of America. And fourth, my Secretary of State will lead an effort to help establish a global a global, common global norms in this largely unregulated space. These steps will lead to safer and more secure skies for our air travelers, our military, our scientists, and for people on the ground as well. That's my job as your president and commander in chief. As the events of the previous days have shown, we'll always act to protect the interest of the American people and the security of the American people. Since I came to office, we've developed the ability